Peter aka MASP and today we are going to be doing a portfolio review, a um, little bit of recommendation type of session thing for Becky Dawn and uh, Becky uh, saw our posting on Model Mayhem and got in touch through there and uh, I've taken a look over her uh, Model Mayhem portfolio and a little bit of her Facebook portfolio um, uh, just to come up with some ideas and uh, what I think might be helpful and what I think she's doing right, what I think she's not doing quite so right. Um, I'll put uh, in the link below um, her portfolio link there so you'll be able to reach her if you're looking to hire her and um, yeah so let's jump right into that there. So uh, I wanted to lead with um, what I think is probably the best picture in your portfolio. Uh, I really like what's happening here, even though there isn't a direct uh, connection uh, with the camera. I, you know, I'm not one who's a stickler for that. I don't think you always have to be looking at the camera for something to be interesting. I like that your gaze brings you back into the frame. So this starts off with you entering the frame from the left hand side if you're in North America and whatnot, because we read left to right, and then you see your gaze directing you back from where you came from, which brings you back into the picture kind of again and again. I like that the cropping doesn't lop off your fingers. I really do like what the light is doing here. It's a nice play of shadow. It defines your, uh, I was going to say Ramus, but most people, uh, it just defines your jawline uh, very nicely, and then kind of that chiaroscuro brings you in and out of the depth of the picture. Very nice. Your blacks are black and your whites are pretty close to white here, so there's a nice range of uh, shades. And because it's in black and white, it solves a problem that shows up in some of your other images that I'll bring up in a second. And nice level horizon line. It's exposed for you, not for the background. This is a very nice image. It's clean, it's simple, the watermark is unobtrusive, very good stuff. Now this picture plays, hmm, force perspective is important. Things that are really close to a lens get bigger and things that are far away get smaller and the closer you are to that thing the more that you notice it. So here because your right arm is very close and armpit is very close, it's large and it's the lightest thing in the picture, so that's where your eye goes to. It's just what we do. We have trouble controlling that. But I would argue that it's your face that's kind of the most important part of this, you know, kind of face torso area. So I think you could just lop that off and that would improve this picture vastly. So I'm just gonna do a little, see, like this isn't, like, I'd do it in person and reframe it differently, but idea here is now you actually kind of focus on your eyes. They're in the top third of the frame and they're almost on like one of the points of focus if you make the little tic-tac-toe grid. So that's nice. And then you can see your eyes and you still get a sense for where you are. So I would think making a small alteration to the framing here is nice. On a whole I like the play of color between the red and the green. That's not doing too poorly at all. Um, expression is you know, it's not the most wonderful, but it's not bad. I just think, um, you know, it's a little bit unengaging, but you look great. It's not a question of that. You're obviously very pretty. I'm thinking just, you want to look at poses in magazines and things along those lines, and then see what you enjoy, and then try and bring some of that into your shoots. Now, here, actually, let me just take a look at a couple, okay. So we got three in a row here, and two are very similar, I think probably from the same day, and one is different, but they're all kind of squattish. Now here, you're squatting in a field, but you're really close to the green leaves, so what it does is it makes this color cast, which makes everything green, which in a matrix kind of way is good, but like for what this is, which is like, it's not lifestyle kind of beauty, or not glamour beauty, but what this is, is not really the right tone. Green kind of makes things look sickly and ominous. And that's not what you want to be, I don't think. And um, the background could be brought out of focus. 
I don't think it's really doing anything. So a nice shallow depth of field would be good here. But on a whole, I don't think the, the squatting in the field is the right vibe for this. Kind of the same thing in the second image here. Except that green color cast has gotten a little bit more color casty. And you can kind of correct for some of that in post with white balance, but truly getting that much green color cast from all the from all the foliage just it, it's really hard to to correct fully. So the best thing to do is just alter where you're shooting a little bit. Like you can be in a forest without being like using the green leaves as a reflector, which is pretty much what's happening here. If you look in the shadows, all of the shadow is picking up the green of the leaves because it's reflecting the sunlight back into you. And lastly is a studio shot, also kind of squatty, but I don't, it, it's just kind of an awkward altogether image. I do like that you're finding a more professional lighting scenario, that's great, but I think uh, something that often happens in studio portraiture, it's natural to kind of want to get the entire body and just kind of capture everything. But I think there's probably more interesting pictures at the half body or three quarter or just headshot range. But on a whole, I'd be looking to start getting a few pictures studio wise. I think that's a great thing. You don't have the color cast issues, easy to control that but start engaging with the, the lens and the viewer a little bit more. You wanna kind of look in to the picture as opposed to off all the time. I think mixing it up is good, but right now I'm seeing a lot of looking aways and not too many of the looking at. And then it's those looking at that really sees the viewer and makes them see you and you have the vibe of a connection even though there is no connection. But you're fooling people. It's a lie. But that's that's different. Yeah. But on a whole, I think that's where we're going there. Now, this picture is something that I like for a certain reason. But okay, that no. Yeah. But that I think needs work. Now, I like this because it feels like it's a Betty Page image, almost. It feels kind of in the vibe of Betty Page, and she was fantastic. So I'm all about that. I think that's wonderful. And I like the minimalist cleanliness of what's starting to happen here with that band of like a beautiful emerald green tone with the spotting, and then that nice deep black going on. It's really color-wise, I think this is like on the way to being gorgeous and you in it like once again not no connection but that's okay but it's more natural than most of the pictures I've ever seen of you online here and it just seems to be a fit it doesn't seem like you're trying too hard which is great but because of the dark outfit and the dark background you don't have any separation and it's very difficult to see where you are. Your hair just kind of disappears into the background. So a separation light just kind of rimming the tail end of you and the front end of you, almost like a Joel Grimes cutout type of look but not so sporty, would be fantastic just so that we can see where you are. But I think with a little bit of work and a little bit of tweaking, this would be wonderful. Like I, I really, really enjoy where this is going. It's not there yet, because we can't really see your shape, but nice start. It's a very nice start. Uh, for this image, um, I think the main thing that I wanted to point out is you've got a very bright background and a very dark U. And they exposed to keep the background from blowing out, which throws you into shadow and makes it hard to define your outfit. So a lot of you is just a dark mass. But I would argue that you're more important than the leaves. And for that reason, I would raise the exposure when I was shooting so that we can see all of the detail in you. Or add a little bit of fill flash to do the same thing if you really wanted to keep the background. But I would be okay with just letting the, the brights blow out 
and then having a little bit more detail in you. You in this look absolutely great. I really do love it. I can't tell what the thing is in your right hand. I guess that's not overly important unless it was meant to be part of a story, in which case it is rather important. But I think you look fantastic. I really do like what's happening with the wardrobe. Your pose is nice in that it separates uh, your arms from uh, the sides of you so that we can get a, sh a sense of your, your figure, which is great. Very nice, just all over. You look fantastic. Wouldn't be a bad thing if we started to get a little bit more connection with you. So just your eyes looking into us. Um, and on a whole for your left hand there, a little bit more natural with the fingers would be fantastic. And then I just wanted to end on what I think is a very cute image of you. It would be something that right now I would keep in your portfolio because you just look pretty, it's calm. Once again, no connection with the lens. I think that's probably the main thing that I would say for your work is we want to start to see your face. But just a nice, simple image. It's a good one to keep because it's not too white balance offy. And for those other ones where the, uh, the green of the grass kind of just takes your skin tones in odd directions, for now, if you wanted to keep those images around and fix them up, a good way of doing it is to change things black and white. But when I say change things to black and white, I mean more like that first image that I showed as opposed to like a muted, nothing anywhere, no blacks, no whites, black and white, because those are dull and boring to me. Well, thank you very much, Becky, for uh, submitting your work. I think like you have a couple of really sharp images in there, which is a nice place to kind of build your portfolio from. You're obviously just a beautiful person. It's very seldom a question of that. It's really more just uh, learning how to bring things into the work that allow people to see the uniqueness of why you're a beautiful person. I hope that's in some way helpful. And uh, if everybody who has listened to this point would like to click the subscribe button, and then I'll put it on the screen in like three seconds, so you can do that if you feel like it. Or uh, thumbs up if you liked it, uh, thumbs down if you disliked it, and if you have things to say, then uh, there's a comment box for that. Thanks very much.